Hi, welcome to Data Engineering. So today we are going to start with practical of BigQuery. So I have already uploaded BigQuery introduction, architecture and many other videos which you have to uh, have a look before getting into this video. So I have shared all this video in my playlist and the playlist link is available in the description box of this video. Fine. Let's get into the topic. So in my previous video, I said like we can use BigQuery in two ways. One is called a sandbox. So sandbox is something like the BigQuery is completely for free, but you can only play with the existing tables. You cannot create any new tables or you cannot do any inserts. So no DML. It's a limitation. And then there is an another option. You can create a free trail account by enabling the billing. So which so where like you can start doing all types of queries. Only when the trial ends or the uh, or the free credit ends, they will charge you. So that is very important. You have to be very cautious about that. Fine. So now here I have a account which in which my billing is enabled and still I'm in free trial. OK, so now I'm going to show you how to create a database. So in BigQuery, database is called a data set. Don't get confused. Whenever you see a word data set in BigQuery, don't get confused. It is a database. Fine. So let's create it. So in general, in real time, if you go in real time, right, in projects, so the databases will be created by the admins. You can create a table within the databases and you can insert, delete, select, all those that you can do it. But not only BigQuery, I'm talking about any databases and query engine you go, the databases will be created by the admins okay so now i am just showing you in the console this is called a console view okay we can even interact through command line as well but now i will show you how to do this in a console view okay fine because in some companies in in in, in real time they won't give you the console when i say web console will not be there so you have to do all your code query editors will be uh, you can use some kind of notebooks or in background in linux you connect with bigquery shell and then you can do all the activities something like that so consoles will not be there for everyone Okay, so now you can see in the left hand side you have this project. So within this project, whatever you see is a data set which is called databases. Now you click this three dots in your project and there is an option called the create data set. So where you can create a data set. So now I'm going to create a data set as account and then I choose multi region. So don't go for region specific. So it's 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 like even there is a use cases for choosing region specific, but let's go with multi region so that any services created in any region, any multi region can able to connect with this big query. For example, there is Google uh, storage you have a bucket which you need to connect with BigQuery that is created in multi-region and this is also created in multi-region. Yeah, they can able to connect each other. So, so that is the point here. So if it is a region specific, you created an Asia Pacific region and you are trying to create connect to a service in a different region, there will be some clash will happen. So this is completely for uh, our own learning purpose. So let's go with multi-region also. Even in real time for many services, they go for multi-regions. They have specific use cases and restrictions based on the internal architecture what they are giving up so okay let's go with multi-region so i'm just creating a data set okay you can see in the left hand side i got my data set so when you toggle it you can able to see the tables but now the data set is empty so let's create a table so what you can do just click this three uh, dots and there is an option called the create table so here it's if you see the source so source when you just click this drop down list you have the option of empty table or you you have data in google cloud storage for which you are creating a table for it and similarly the rest of the thing so the beauty of bigquery is imagine you have a excel sheet in google drive and you don't want to move that excel sheet data to your bigquery it's not required let the data be there in the google drive itself but you can create a table from bigquery on top of the data which is there in the google drive so that is the beauty of bigquery here so and the same thing for the rest of the sources as well but now we can go for empty table i have i have just explained about this in my introduction video you can have a look about the source uh, methodology now uh, you can give a table name so in the table name i am going to give account underscore txn and then i'm going to create schemas which is column names you need a column name so i'll give id and the data type is going to be the integer and then i'll i'll create a name and then string so that's all so if you drop down you have the option called partitioning and clustering which is one of the important uh, properties for a table and partition and cluster is a very big topic so this this plays a major role in performance optimization so let's have this discussion in a separate video so now i am not going to touch this partition or clustering concept so let's just create the table so the table is created now you can see under account i got this acc underscore txn so now if you click this right so you will be getting the schema here 
yeah so you got the schema right so and you have the option of setting primary key not null null columns everything you can do okay now so if you click this three dots just exactly on your table right so you have the option called the query so if you click this it will open a query editor with the basic select query so you can just run this okay so now if you want to insert something right you can insert so let me do it's empty see you can see the output here you can even you can see that in a json format you can see the execution details like the query plan query execution time it has taken and that the same information is available in the graph format also and you can get the job information so all these things we will be seeing repeatedly in upcoming videos of the bigquery thing and now I'm going to insert. So insert is a straightforward SQL syntax only. So insert into and this query editor is very uh, good thing with the query editor is it, it, it tells you the compilation error immediately whenever there is a gap that you give while typing the code it immediately compiles and say there is an error. So that's a good thing about this editor. So now I'm going to give the table name. So the table name whenever you refer you have to give this full name that is the project name dot data set name that means database name dot table name. And then now I'll give the column ID comma name, right? And then values. So I'll give some ID comma and name. So name I'll give Gautam. Now you just run it. So before you running this line number four, the query, you have to add a semicolon before in the previous query. And you can see there is no uh, error. So you can run it. It's a green tick. So you just select this and you click the option run here. So now the job is executing. Yes, one row has been inserted to the table and you have shortcuts you can learn from here without using the mouse. You can directly use shortcuts also. So now what I'll do, I'll run the select query again to see the output. So the result, yeah, I'm getting my result and even you can get that in the JSON format like this. Yes. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a table not via the UI, but through the SQL command that you can also do. So create table and you have to paste the table name like you have to paste the project name. You have to type the project name dot the data set name that is the database name and you give some name. So I'll give TXN and I'll give ID int. That's it. Just one column. Let's create this. Okay, just run. So in the left hand side, you can see one more table will be get added. Now just TACC underscore TXN. Yeah, you can see there is one more table TXN got created. So that's it. So you can update, you can delete, you can do all the queries. You can, if you want, you can practice. So in my upcoming videos, I'll, I'll, I'll make so many topics on BigQuery. Just stay in touch with my playlist. So to get all the videos, the playlist link is there in the description box of this video. I do have uh, not only the BigQuery videos, I do have big data videos, AWS, Scala, Python, Java. So I have, uh, I, ha I have so many 100, 200, 300 plus videos are there in big data alone. I have 100 plus videos. You can have a look and that big data uh, course playlist link is also there in the description box of this video thanks for watching and i have created a new channel called only digital guy and I, the la link is in the description box of this video that is completely for digital marketing if you are interested you can subscribe that channel as well and support us thanks for watching